When I'm working in Photoshop doing colouring work, uh, quite often I'll, I'll build up layers of paint. So you'll see that I'll start to paint this colour in and start to gradually build up layers um, using the overlay uh, brush here to build up colour on these layers. And you'll see that that stores up a huge amount of history. And if I want to undo that brush stroke, I only have one undo, so I can only undo once. But I also have a new command called step backward, okay, which allows me to go back through all of the steps in the history panel one by one. And that's really useful when I'm brushing. Now, why am I showing you this? The reason I'm showing you this is because I want to show you how we can go into the preferences and actually have a look at the radial menu preferences in the Wacom control panel. Now, the radial menu, what the radial menu gives you, if I click on this express key here, it gives you this context sensitive menu. If I go to Photoshop um, and click on Photoshop, you'll see it's giving me either commands like exit, cut, save, undo, paste, redo. Or if I click on it again, I can go to email and start sorting out my email. OK, or I can say I want to play a movie, for example, and assign media keys to this. And it really is amazing. Or I can go and surf the web. So from Photoshop, I can use this express key on my Wacom tablet to get to various different places. Now, you'll notice in the command menu, and this is a sub menu, it has um, undo. And really what I want to do is I want to change that so that instead of just doing a single undo, it does the step backward command from Photoshop, which allows me to go through these different states of history. So I'm going to close it down and I'm going to go back to the Wacom control panel. And in there, I'm going to start to adjust this. Now, you'll notice that I have my command menu and then under that, I have a sub menu. So here are my commands. So I'm going to select undo. And instead of undo, what we're going to do is do the keystroke for step backwards. And the keystroke for step backwards is, instead of Command Z, it's Command Alt Z. OK, so if I clear that and hold down Command Alt Z, and that would be Control Alt Z on the PC, and I can rename this Step Backwards. OK, and I'll click OK. And that now becomes my step backwards. And we could also, while we're in there, do step forwards. So again, go to keystroke and we'll clear this. And we'll do the step forwards keyboard shortcut. And we'll say forwards. OK. Now, whilst we're in there, you can also create submenus. So if I wanted to, I could go to my command menu and say, right, I want to create a new submenu. Uh, which has all of my brush commands, for example. So it is possible to create submenus in here as well, just by adding different levels to here. So what we're going to do is go back to Photoshop now. And you'll notice that if I move over here now and click my radial menu and go to command, I have step backwards. OK, so it's very easy for me just to go to command and say step backwards instead of undo. And of course, you can give that any function. So any function that you see in the menus that has a keyboard series of keyboard shortcuts, something like save for web and devices, I use a lot. And that would be another one that's useful to add a function to the radial menu for, because you can see that it's quite a series of different keys to remember. So anything like that can be added to the radial menu and customized to suit your particular workflow.